What's going on, y'all? So, the BET Awards 2014, um, it was actually a nice award. It was decent. I wasn't really, I wasn't bored with it. And I actually like damn near every performance that went off. That, that everybody that did, I, I was, I was so ready to hate on this shit. Like, I was so ready. Y'all know, I didn't even know the shit was coming on until a couple of days ago. And I was just ready to go the fuck in. But I just couldn't do that. I just had, you know, I even watched the pre-show. Of course, you know, with the pre-show, it's a whole bunch of niggas. I don't even know who the fuck that is. But that girl that was doing that thing in the green, um, the gold, she gonna be on the BZ stage next, the main stage next year. I, I guarantee you that. You heard it first. Um, here. Tanisha, whatever the fuck her name is. Y'all know who she is. Y'all will correct me. But, um, it is what it is. So, the BT Awards, Zendaya, I don't know what the fuck you was doing. I mean, we know you dropped out of the, the Leah project. We know she's a big inspiration to you, but bitch, you was still in character. Uh, but she would never wear that shit like that. But I'm just saying, I was just confused about what you had on. Everybody was saying how much it was hot outside. And, you know, somebody else kind of confused me when they was on the red carpet. They was talking. They had this dress on. And then all of a sudden, I was just like, wait a minute. Why your nipples hard? You know, but it's hot as fuck outside. Did a breeze just come past? I'm just saying, you know, I just noticed this shit. Not that I be trying to look for it. It was just there. So I just mentioned it. You know, I just say the shit people don't be thinking. That's what it is. I'm also drunk right about that. <laughs> Y'all can't see. <say. laughs> but shit. <laughs> I, <laughs> bitch might watch my shit. But anyway, um. Um. Yeah. Neo, I don't know. He looked like he was auditioning for the male version of The Flying Nun or. Farmer and Adele. I don't know what the fuck that was on that red carpet. But Kiki White. I, ugh, Kiki White. Kiki Palmer. I don't know what the hell that shit was either. Your hair look nice, but your clothes, boo. Mm -mm. You look like you was about to transform into something. You was look like, transform into what? What the fuck was that? I'm just, I'm just confused about that whole thing. So Chris Rock, you know... He hosted the award show, and I would give him, hmm, maybe a B out of it because some, you know, his opening monologue, it was cool for what it was, but then it got like, girl, come on, could you just move on to the next? But other than that, of course, he went in on a few people, T.I. and all them, and it was cool. It was funny. T.I. and Tiny were sitting there together. At one point, it looked like they didn't really want to be by each other. But then, the other point, they stood there holding hands like this. And I said, that looked a little forced. But, hey, it's cool that y'all together, at least for now, or showing down for the, um, you know, the cameras. At least trying to make it seem like y'all trying to work shit out. I really want y'all to work it out, too. I do. Um, Pharrell opens up the show. She opened up the show. I mean, he opened up the show, and he was doing this song. It wasn't happy at first. I don't know if I can't remember if he did happy at the end, but either way, he started off with another single, and it was an upbeat tempo. And next thing you know, I'm hearing this boom boom like, dun dun dun. You know the song to pass this Dutch. You know how the drums go off in the past this Dutch in the bass, and I'm like, why the fuck does this sound like past that Dutch? And I said, who the fuck finna come out? Bitch, Missy comes out from behind the bleachers. I say, yes, Missy. I was just going off up in this bitch. But, um, you know, she come out there. She performed that. And I was like, so does this mean that we finna get a new album? Okay, Missy, because we've been waiting. Come on, give us something. Um, August Alcina, he wins for Best New Artist. After he sat there for like a good 10, 15 seconds, like he was waiting for them to come bring him the award to his seat. He gets up there and he starts crying. And I was like, niggas, chuck that shit up. What you crying for? This ain't no goddamn Grammy. But then again, I said, no, I can't think that way because most people that's in this audience, they will never, ever see the inside of the Grammys, never get nominated. So this is their Grammy Award. So that's why they take it like this. I was like, okay, so you can have your moment. Go ahead. I ain't going to judge. I ain't going to judge. You know, sometimes you got a piss poor attitude, but bitch, go ahead. You best new artists. Enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Um, who came out to that? I know Lapita won for Best Actress. Of course, she wasn't there. Tamla Man won for, um, 
best gospel artist. The Nick Cannon was up there looking like a nigga nigga. I was like, he did look like a street nigga. I don't know if it was the beard or if it was the afro or what the fuck it was, but he just looked like a nigga nigga. He just didn't look like lame ass Nick Cannon, even though he is, but you know, it is what it is. Lil Wayne, he performed. I don't know what the songs were that he performed, but I actually liked it. And that's saying a lot for me because I usually don't like when he actually performs, but I actually enjoyed the performance. He just looked like he was wearing his inside clothes outside. Y'all know when the shit get raggedy as fuck, we don't want to really throw it away. We'll still wear that shit inside the house. That's what it looked like he was wearing. But, you know, besides that, it was cool. Um... John Legend, he performed, and he kind of brought my mood all the way fucking there. And I was like, bitch, I am not in the mood for this sappy shit to your bitch. I'm sorry. You know, oh, girl. And right when I was about to go to sleep, Janae Aiko comes out there. And she's singing the worst. And I was like, okay, I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. But I want you. And I was like, all right, all right, go ahead. Let me listen to these vocals. Because sometimes she gives a good performance. And sometimes her vocals be like, bitch, what? And there was a couple of moments where them vocals was a little bit shaky. But overall, I enjoyed it. And John, he comes in and take over. I said, you do not do that to somebody else. Performance while they on the stage with you. And she let them. So, hey, I mean, go ahead. But, um, Keisha Cole was in that audience going to fuck off. I said, bitch, they let Keisha back up in the building. Hell no. What's next? Carrie Hilson? Shit. Okay. Okay. I see. Y'all, it's a new era, a new day. So y'all like y'all trying to just wipe the, the slate clean and just give everybody another chance. And I don't know. It is what it is. Go ahead, bitch. But um, the little skit between... Mike Tyson and uh, Gary Owen, that was cute. They introduced, they they presented the best hip-hop album, and it was Drake, the one. Um, Chris Brown did his performance for These Hoes Ain't Loyal. You know, Lil Wayne come out there, and he giving it all on the mic, sounded like he about to pass the fuck out, sounded like he about to fucking cry, like he a little 13-year-old boy going through fucking puberty, his voice cracking and shit. I said, calm the fuck down, nigga, okay? Just calm down. Chris Brown comes out there. I said, baby, I can't hear you. I cannot hear you. Turn that mic up. Turn that back and track down a little bit. But then again, it's Chris Brown. You know he need that shit. I'm just saying, I honestly... Don't look at Chris Brown performances for his vocals. No, I don't because he cannot really deliver that well with live vocals. Let's be fucking honest. I look for a, a performance from him. I want to see you break the motherfucking flow and dance. Dance, I fucking said. And he danced, you know. And he was still a little, you know, a little husky. And he was like, bitch, I may have put on this weight, but I'm still finna show the fuck off. And you could tell he wasn't really used to that weight, but he was doing all that he could, and he did did a good job for what it was. I actually enjoyed it. The audience was there, bitch. And then he had Travis fucking Barker on the goddamn drums. Travis Barker from Blink-182. Come on now. Come on now. Get into it. That's some, that's some, and he be, Travis Barker then did shit with a lot of hip-hop dudes, okay? Get into his fucking catalog. You know, um, <clears throat> the little skit Chris Brock was doing when he went to that white town. <laughs> I say white town because that's all that he was seeing. You saw a bunch of white folks and he was asking them like the hip hop shit. They didn't know what the fuck shit was. He asked that lady, do you know what NWA was? She was like, <laughs> I was waiting for her to say, oh, bitch. I'm, we all sitting here like, she better not say nigga. Is she going to say nigga? Hmm. But I secretly wanted her to say nigga just to, so I can laugh. I don't know why, but that's what it is. She said National Wife Association. I said, of course. <laughs> of course. He asked that dude, you ever went to date a black woman? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shit had me rolling. The little skit with the being Mary Jane and, you know, he popped up out the tub and gonna say some surfboard. That was cute. That was funny. Um, the music matters section, I want that to be longer next year because the two that they had this year, they were really, they was doing it. The Gabby Wilson chick, she's 17 years old, five instruments that she can play. She sings and, you know, I think she songwrites and all that stuff. 
she was showing the fuck out. They both was for, uh, showing out. The dude, he was up there singing like his rent was fucking due, and he needed to go out there and shake his ass to get some motherfucking cash. He was like, I really got to convince y'all to give me this money so I can pay my motherfucking light bill, and he did that shit. The Gabby girl, she started off on the goddamn floor playing that goddamn guitar. I said, you better do it. Switch chords. She did, and I said, yes, bitch, and then got up. And start playing on the damn piano and then singing and playing at the same time. I said, see, I have a lot of respect for an artist who can actually play an instrument and also know how to read the music. It's, it's a difference. Reading music, I'm talking about notes. Not lyrics, but notes. Okay? Girl. That was everything. I like that. Um, that was fucking talent. Uh, she got out there. He performed a mashup of his songs. He had a skunk on his head, and I just really wasn't here for that. And then when he took that shit off, and I was like, oh my God, thank God he cut his hair, and it's like the regular hair, because that little shit that he, it just wasn't working for me, you know? And it it, it felt nice to hear the old stuff. I was like, I should have some hits back in the day, bitch, y'all. And then, you know, Confession was his last good album, if you ask me. And um, he did good kisser. He almost had a little wardrobe malfunction. The, 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 the jacket got stuck on his arm. But he said, fuck this shit. I'm on a time limit. I'm still going to play these goddamn drums. He almost fucking forgot the microphone. He came back to the he came back to the stage like, oh shit, ain't no mic in my hand. Let me run back and get it. And he got it. And I was like, okay, cool. He did a good job. You know, had everybody up. They put the camera to 2 chain. Cam- Two Chains was standing next to the motherfucking DJ that was at Tamar's show down in Atlanta that fucked shit up. I was like, look, you whack as fuck. How the fuck did you get invited to the BET Awards? But then again, it is BET. He was whack as hell. I will never forget those damn curls and that light skin and that cap because he had a cap on there and it looked like he had on the same damn shirt that he had on at Tamar's show. I'm just fucking saying. They booed the fuck out his ass too. Y'all remember me telling y'all that. But, um... I like the little mashup that they did a Usher song. They did it just like they did with R. Kelly last year. It was cute. Um, Pharrell won video of the year. Jennifer Hudson came out there and showed the fuck out. I always, I don't care what type of music Jennifer sings. She just gives me fucking gospel shit. That's what she gives me gospel tease all the time. So she, ever since she lost this weight. It's like she was feeling her Christian thoughtness, and that's what she was just going down, walking down the uh, aisle to walk it out with the dude that was in the video who was just standing up on that stage posing like, I just got out of jail two months ago, and look at my body. Y'all gonna look at this shit. I was like, we looking. We can't help but look, okay? You you got a nice little bill. Now go sit down somewhere. And then she did this other song. It was like, um, Disco E. And, you know, they was roller skating. And I actually liked it. And y'all know that's a lot for me to say because I never really take to Jennifer, uh, Huston. I was about to call her Jennifer Lopez. Bitch, no. Jennifer Huston, shit like that. And I actually liked that. And I actually liked the performance, you know. She left Effie White at home, okay. And she, J- she gave us J-Hood, all right. I was like, okay, y'all do that shit. Y'all are showing out tonight. But, um, next thing you know. You got, <clears throat> what the fuck, you got Chris Rock like, oh, so they was handing out pieces at the Oscars. We gonna hand out Roscoe chicken and waffles. I said, niggas, but give me a goddamn plate, okay? Because, bitch, you know, it is what it is. But, um, Nikki performed after that, and she came out. I think she did that Chirac song. Whatever the fuck it is that she did, I was here for it with that ass tooted on the goddamn motorcycle. You know, it don't look as big as it used to, but um, that's neither here nor there. I am very much here for this era of Nicki Minaj because that shit that was out last time with all those faces and all those wigs and all that shit, I just, them antics, I wasn't here for it. This natural, toned down Nicki is giving me everything that I wanted from her in the fucking beginning, okay? And she's out there, she's doing her fucking thing, she did pills and potions. Look, I'm not really feeling that song, but I actually like the damn performance. It wasn't over the top, it was just cool for what it was. And there you have it. Then it had Burnell from um, American Idol out there singing the hook. Come on now. It was nice. But when she won for Best Female Rapper, first of all, 
that damn category was a fucking joke. They could have just left the other people that was nominated. No shade to E, but I only heard that song once. And no shade to Charlie Baltimore. I didn't hear that all. And who the fuck is an Angel Hayes? The only thing that I heard about her recently is that she gay. That's it. That's fucking it. And I heard that the day yesterday. Bitch, what? Okay, who the fuck are you? The only comp, the only thing that it was between was her and Iggy. And when Nikki got up there and said, you know, I actually write my own songs, and that's no shade. I said, bitch, who the fuck are you shading? <laughs> Y'all say it's Iggy, but who? Who? Nikki gave a damn fucking college speech up there. I was like, this bitch is still talking. Girl, get your shit off. Go on. I turned away, was doing some shit over here, turned back around. She's still talking. Nick, Nikki, child, take it and leave. Ain't nobody got time for all that. But she, I, when people say, 9 out of 10s, when a person say no shade, that's shade. Okay? Just to let y'all know that. They're being shady as fuck. She was being shady as fuck without saying who it was. And I really want to know who the fuck it was. Why they don't like, she don't like Iggy? Oh, but then one of the best performances of the night, August Alcina got up there. He was doing kissing my tattoos and then all of a sudden he did, I love that shit. And next thing you know, I think he did like the first verse. <laughs> this cage come down, it turns around, opens up, Trey song comes out. I said, bitch, y'all put away y'all thief. I was like, oh. Oh, you know, I, literally, I was like, oh, you know, I turned into like a 17 year old girl who's straight and who like dick. That's that's who I turned into. And y'all know that's just far from me right about now. And I, I don't know, you know, I'm not even feeling ashamed about it because they fucking did that shit. And then you had Chris Brown. I said, see, look, men can do this shit. Men will fucking go at each other and then put that shit aside and just make the fuck up and say, look, we got to end this shit and just go ahead. Bitches can't do that shit. Because look at, and look at, that whenever, we're going to move on. Chris Brown and I try, look, I, I just don't see that them, it ain't going to never, even if that, if Chris Brown comes out the audience walking down the aisle and singing on I Love This. I said, yes. They was up there on that stage looking like 2014. Joe to see. Y'all better fucking do that shit. All you hoes was on Twitter. Y'all draws was wet as fuck. Ain't that some shit? Ah. Stop fucking playing. But they did that shit. They really did. Um, The Lionel Richie tribute was cute. You had John Legend, of course, singing. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Yes. I was here for it. And he sang another song. And then let us come out there and did Brick House. I said, go ahead, bitch. And then Yolanda Adams came out there and sang. And then, you know, he comes up on the stage and give his little speech. And then he do his little thing. Had everybody in the motherfucking audience just rocking. I will say it was a nice little tribute. But Charlie Wilson, no one will beat that shit. Because that shit had the whole fucking place rocking. But, um... When you got hood niggas, like very hood ass niggas, sitting in the audience just rocking and going like, yes, bitch, I feel it. You know you done made a goddamn impact on people's lives. Then um, <clears throat> Iggy came out there with T.I. T.I. did No Mediocre, his new song. It was cool. I liked it. I was really just here for Iggy doing her little fancy. When she did fancy, I said, yes. I'm so fancy. You already know. And um, Keisha Cole, you know, of course, she was just happy to be there. Young Money won for best group. It should have just been Nicki Minaj, Drake, and Lil Wayne because the other ones, what the fuck they do? Half them, the majority of them ain't even got an album out. Okay, probably Tiger. I don't know if Tiger came up there too, but, you know, the other ones, they ain't got no album out. Or they ain't even made no impact, impact like that. You know, I'm just like, who the fuck are these niggas on this stage? What? I'm just confused. But, um... <sighs> Viewers' Choice Award, they went to August Alcina. And then, this little session 
where Chris Rock comes out and he was like, the music from the 90s used to be like this. And then all of a sudden, I can't wait to get to school each day. So see you around my way. I said, oh my God, this is my shit. Troop, the real original version of that song, okay? Somebody gonna say something, I wish B5 would've came out there and sang that shit. Hell no. Well, Truth ain't the original version. They not the original. Jackson 5 did it first, and then Truth did it after them, and then B5 did it. And probably some other people in, 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 in between. I had to get my facts together, because y'all the clock a bitch in a minute. I was like, gone the fuck off, and then, ooh, I want to sex you up. I said, color me fucking bad. Now, something went wrong in the formula, and them aging. One of them got a little big. The other one, I don't know what was wrong with his face, but, you know, they still sounded good. And I still went the fuck off. And then, I must have screamed like a little bitch up in here, like, oh my fucking God. All of a sudden, I hear that, freak me, baby. I say, yes! Silk comes out there singing my goddamn song. And y'all know y'all love that. Let me lick you up and down till you say stop. Mm, I want to play with your body, baby. Until you feel hot. You just don't fucking know. That song is everything. And then. They still got it. They still fucking got it. And I was just sitting there like. Mm, if Joe see bring they drunk ass out here. That didn't happen. But it would have. That whole thing would have been so complete. If Joe see would have came out there. If they would have been sober enough. And not so fucked up. They could have did that shit. And they could have came out there and did something. Like, girl, that would have been everything. But, um, <clears throat> Debbie Wilson, you know, she gets out there and talk and do this little thing about the civil rights, um, the humanitarian, humanitarian awards about people of the civil rights that are things of that matter. And then you have Felicia Rashad. Oh my God, Claire Huxtable. Yes, Felicia Rashad looking ever so beautiful. She comes out there and she pays tribute to. Maya Angelou and Miss Ruby D, who also passed away, like, I don't know if it was a week after Maya passed or the two weeks after, but she recently just passed away. And then, you know, all of a sudden, they get Tyrese up there and he is singing, if you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight, girl, let me tell you something. He was just about to get the fucking draws. He was warming up. You know, he was growling. He was getting there. He was getting there. Click. I said, bitch. How the fuck they just gonna cut him off like that to a goddamn commercial? That was some bogus bullshit. I was not here for that. Y'all know they get Tyrese to sing a nigga tribute in a minute. Okay? He was just waiting to go ahead and get them things. And y'all just cut him off. That was fucking wrong. That was fucking wrong. Okay? I just went here for that. Then they bring Robin Thicke's ass. He has a new album that's coming out called Paula. And if y'all don't know the situation with him, he fucked up. They ain't together no more. Separated. Damn no on the verge of divorce. So basically what is a marketing strategy also and a ploy and a plot and all that stuff to get his his girl back. He's going to put out an album that's dedicated to her, that's titled after her. The first single is called Paula, the one that he did at the Billboard Award. He did another song today and literally said, this is dedicated to Paula. I'm trying to get my wife back. Like, come on. This shit is so fucking pathetic and desperate. And it's like, it's, she, it's, it's like it's forcing her to feel guilt about this shit and to take him back because he's doing all this shit publicly. And it's like... Don't try to humiliate her to take you back. and or, Like, guilt trip her to take you back because you fucked up. No, I'm just not here for that shit. And, um, it was just, it, you just looked, I had so much respect for Robin. No, I just don't. I don't. You just look, uh, and Paula probably wasn't even watching this shit. Okay, come on now. Floyd Mayweather gets up there. And he the one that introduced and presented who the best rap um female is or whatever. Bitch said, and 
This is how he was reading. Truth be told, it was really only between, between Nikki and Iggy. So, congratulations, Nikki. I don't even need to see what this thing said because I got x-ray vision. The winner is Nikki. I said, what the fuck? You are up there reading. Maybe he didn't get hit in the head a little bit too many times. But that nigga was up there reading like he only had made a pet. He didn't make it past second grade, okay? Because by third grade, they can read a little bit faster than that. I'm, I'm, what the fuck? That shit had yeah, me rolling. I know T.I. was like, this nigga can't even see. Nigga, you ain't going to never be in nobody's movie because, bitch, you can't even read the goddamn script right. Bitch, that shit had me fucking rolling. Nikki, Nikki said, when you hear Nikki spit, Nikki wrote it. Bitch. The read of the motherfucking night. Okay, but uh, I still want to know who she's talking about. Y'all tell me in no comments because... Mm, mm. So, they was hyping up this supposedly Jay-Z and Beyonce shit. Y'all know they on the tour. Run, run, on a run tour. She had a show. Well, they had a show last night in Cincinnati. Well, whenever y'all see this, what's today? The, on the 28th. It was Saturday. I think it was Saturday. Whatever. I'm thinking, okay, just a slight possibility that if they do show up, it's they, you know, they ain't got a show until the 1st. They can fly to L.A. and come on the stage. And I was like, no, that shit ain't going to happen. They hyped this shit up as if they was actually going to be there and literally showed it us a pre-recorded of the nights before um, partition performance at the Cincinnati when they was in Ohio. And I said, this is some bullshit. I could, and then waited till the very last end to do this shit. I said, ain't this some shit? Ain't this some shit? BT, y'all ain't shit for that. And Beyonce and Jason, y'all ain't shit for that either. Y'all ain't had shit else to do, you know, because you had time between. Because when you did your shit with Miami, soon as you finished, y'all was out there yachting and shit, bitch. You could have flew over and did some shit. But it's okay. I say that shit until and get my life when I go to see you on July 24th. But other than that, BT, don't hype bitches up if they not going to actually be there. I'm just telling you that, okay? Because we could have bypassed all this shit. This is a fucking, I gave y'all a good ass review. Well, shit, something of it. I gave y'all something. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, oh yeah. Bitch, Beyonce won best R&B pop woman. Some, I'm, I'm just, I don't know what it is, but I noticed it and a lot of other people have noticed it too. They cut a lot of categories from being actually telecast on the live stream you know, screen on the main stage. They didn't show the best woman. I don't think they showed the young people. Um, and, and they didn't show some other, the fandom. On, I don't even know if they did that, do that anymore. But they cut out a whole bunch of categories that they did not show on live. And I had to go on the website just to see who the fuck actually won some shit. I, it shouldn't be that way. But that's the fucking review. Damn, 28 minutes. Bitch, you talk too much. Oh, guess fuck well. But, um, yeah, y'all tell me what was y'all best performance of the night. Who did y'all like? Best dress, worst dress, best moments. And, um, yeah. I'll see y'all later. Peace.